Okay, uh, so today I'm gonna do chest and shoulders. I'm gonna kind of go light on it because I'm gonna do boxing too. So in boxing today, I'm gonna work on fundamentals. Um, I've noticed I've been dropping my hands a lot after I throw. So it's gonna do a lot of jabs, a couple rounds of uh, just jabs, a couple rounds of just one twos, and uh, just focus on not dropping my hand after I throw the punch. Then I think I'm gonna do like some hand speed work. So I'm gonna um, kind of do this thing where I hold out a towel and drop it and then catch it and then throw the right all like while that's in the air. So uh, kind of do it just for like eye hand coordination and just uh, right hand speed. Then I'm gonna do Mayweather. Yes. Um, and where you just kind of do 10 fast punches and two hard ones to the body. Uh, for three minutes. So I'm going to do two rounds of that and then I'm going to do what I call hand sprints with our 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So the 10 seconds on are just as fast as possible uh, and then 10 seconds off for 10 rounds. With that said, I'm going to try to work on rear delts uh, and chest more focused when I do my um, my weights before boxing to try to save my uh, front delts a little and then uh, do triceps as well. So. That said, I'm out of here, and then uh, I gotta do a long run at some point today.
workout is done. Taking Hermes, where are you buddy? Hi there, to, to the dog park. Then, uh, then probably take a nap and then go on my long run. So you can see on the Mayweathers, I'm trying to just kind of train my body to become more efficient at putting oxygen into my muscles uh, to kind of reduce the burn. Like you can, you can feel a burn when you're going really hard, like on the 10 seconds on and off, like the first 10 second session or the, the second or third, it's not too bad, but the burn really kicks in in like the seventh, eighth and ninth. When you start questioning it in your mind, like, wait, is it 10 rounds already? Like, uh, then you know, like the bird is really there and you can feel it obviously too, but it's your mind starts trying to talk you out of going. To, it's like it tries to convince you you're already done, but you're not, you're only at round seven. So, um, and the idea obviously is by training your body to become more efficient at moving oxygen or glycogen uh, to the muscles that are suffering, uh, you get better obviously uh, and more efficient overall in your stamina, in your speed, in your power. So that's the thinking. I kind of treat like my boxing training a lot like, like a running plan. I don't know, probably. We'll see how I do in October. Okay, I'm gonna start my long run now. It'll be about an hour, a little over. I'm just gonna run down to USC, kind of around it and back up. I don't have any water or anything with me, so it's hard to it's hard to stack on stack on too many miles. And I'll be on the sun, which is good because I want to get some vitamin D as well. So my legs are really tired from uh, doing deadlifts uh, two days ago, leg like curls. So um, I'm hoping once I get going that uh, I'll feel better. And uh, I'm just gonna go for an easy pace, like around nine minute mile pace average for the for today. And uh, just put in some time under feet. Um, let's see how it goes. All right, well, there you go. Okay, uh, six miles done. 54 minutes, nine minutes, seven seconds, average mile pace. So, um, it felt good. I didn't, the legs didn't bother me like I thought they would. Um, I just kept focusing on just my cadence and keeping my hips forward because I knew I was tight in my hamstrings. So I wanted to try to put a little extra effort in uh, making sure I was getting a uh, good extension. But uh, that's that. Okay, workout done and finished.